Well, hello, everybody, and I'm back. And I'm going to do a video just about uh, the names and formulas for bases. And as you can see, I'm just kind of winging this one right here <coughs> because this one's going to be short and sweet. First and foremost, how do you then recognize when a compound is a base? Well, that's actually fairly simple. Watch this. All bases, at least all the bases that you're concerned with for now, uh, consist of the same two ingredients, some sort of metal and a wonderful polyatomic ion called hydroxide. That's right. That's not entirely true. Uh, instead of a metal, we could have our pesky friend ammonium. That's right. Ammonium is that uh, polyatomic ion NH4 has a positive charge. If you see ammonium and hydroxide together, that's a base. But for the most part, it will be a metal plus hydroxide. Those are bases. So here are some uh, wonderful bases. Probably the most important one in the world is sodium hydroxide a.k.a. lye, L-Y-E. This is one of the primary ingredients in the manufacture of soap, and it's been used to make soap for, I don't know, hundreds of years or whatnot. There's also a nice one called calcium hydroxide. Not really sure what that one's all about, to be honest with you. Then we got magnesium hydroxide and uh, potassium hydroxide, K-O-H, and all that other kinds of good stuff. So, oh, and then, oh, might as well throw at you this one, uh, ammonium hydroxide. There it is. There's the one that uh, has um, uh, the, the, the ammonium instead of a metal. That's wonderful. Okay, so how do you name these compounds? Well, uh, you just heard me name them. Um, these compounds, even though they're in this special category of bases, don't have any special rules or names about how you name them or about how you come up with their formulas. These follow all the exact same rules for ionic compound names and formulas that were shown in a couple of previous videos. So this compound is made of sodium and then OH hydroxide. It's called sodium hydroxide. That's right. And this one's uh, got magnesium and OH so, hey, guess what? That's uh, magnesium hydroxide. Yeah, there's two of them, but that does not matter. How do you come up with the formulas for these things? Well, the same way as we did, but I'll, I'll run you through an example. How about um, our good friend barium hydroxide? I, I'm pretty sure I did this one in another video, but that's okay. I'm only human. Yeah, same same thing, crisscross method. This is an ionic compound. Get out of the way. And so you look up barium, barium symbol is BA, hooray, BA. And then hydroxide, go to that polyatomic ion chart. There you are, hydroxide, we love you. Mwah. OH, hydroxide. Put it in parentheses just in case. Now let's find some ion charges. Barium, where are you? Right there. Oh, this focus, i got to work on that. Barium gets the charge of plus two. Hydroxide. Where are you? There it is, negative one. Negative one. So crisscross, applesauce. We got uh, barium and then OH2 for hydroxide. And there you go. That's about all you need to know about bases. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I should show you some things that you might come across that are not bases. Yes, I do like to... Throw some things out there that are not bases, okay? Like uh, like this thing right here, CH3OH. Oh, that's got an OH on it. That must be a base. No, it says right there, not bases. This is not a base. Why? Because CH3 is not a metal. It's not ammonium. Okay, this is something else. So, therefore, this is not a base. Oh, here's another one. That's got an OH. This must be a base. Nope, because all this other stuff in front of it is also not a metal. It's also not ammonium. You want to hear the funny part? This one's actually an acid, <laughs> but you'll learn about that some other time. Okay, and here's one that's not a base either, HOH. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you said hydrogen is kind of like a metal. It can form a positive ion, right? So that should be a base, right? Uh, nah, bro, that's actually this right here that you see right here, my fingers wiggling around, man, that's actually a fancy way of writing water, H2O, yeah, so, 
So that's that's water. Okay, it's neither an acid nor a base, yet it's both of them at the same time. So yeah, these things might appear at casual glance to be bases because of the OH at the end there, but they're not. Be careful, not bases, it says right there. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Hand. What does that mean? Have a nice day.